Hello. Well, this is a bit weird, isn't it? How are you doing? You getting on all right? Good. Well, I'm out for my one walk of the day, but um, yeah, there's nobody around me. Just check. I was just thinking that I hadn't really come the right way. It was all very nice, this field, until I hit this bit here. And now it's really, really muddy. I need to find something better to stand on while I talk to you. Hang on, there's a rock over there. Ah, that's better. Now that's good because today I thought I'd talk about rocks. Oh, hang on. I think I've just got a call coming in. Just, just wait a minute. Debbie, are you doing an assembly without me? And, and did I hear you mention rocks as well? Johnny, are you wearing a chicken onesie? Oh yeah, seeing as we're working from home I just assumed I could wear what I like. Hang on, I'll, I'll put you down so you can see. Do you like it? hope it's okay. Hey, could we do an assembly about chickens? No, no, and it's not really an assembly because if you look up what an assembly is, it's a group of people gathered together. Mr Johnson said we're not to do that. So I'm not doing that. This is more of a, it's more of a disassembly, I think you call this, yes. And uh, I'm just, you know, sending a message to some people that I might have seen in schools had I been allowed to be in schools. That's all. Yes, you are doing an assembly. Anyway, I know some facts about rocks. Uh, like the way that they're formed makes three different types of rocks. Igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic. Did you know that? Mmm, that's like an, an actual sciencey fact, Johnny. Well done. Anyway, as I was saying... Have you seen a picture of that giant red mountain thing in Australia called Uluru? Or sometimes known as Ayers Rock? Because that is technically the largest rock in the world. Look, it's huge. I'll show you a picture. Well, that's very nice, Johnny. Thanks. But as I was trying to say... Hold on, I'm not finished yet. I've just remembered that my favourite penguin is the rockhopper penguin. Look, it's got rocks in it and everything. And uh, I think it's called that because it like hops over rocks or maybe because it looks a bit like a rock star. Look, I'll show you another picture. Let me know what you think. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Thanks again, Johnny. And anyway. Ooh, I also like rock hyraxes because they're cute. Hey, have a look. Did you know, Debbie, that they're related to elephants? Yeah, it's kind of weird. And they also spend 95% of their time resting or just sleeping, really. And mostly they do it lying on top of each other. But I'm not sure how that's going to work at the moment with social distancing and all that. So I think they're going to have to find another way of doing it for the next 12 weeks. Could be hard. Well, thanks, Johnny. That was lots of interesting facts about rocks and rock hopper penguins and whatever else. But anyway, what I was going to share was a verse from the Bible that was written by that chap David again, you know, the handsome one? And it goes like this. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge. And that's found in the Bible in 2 Samuel, chapter 22, verse... 222? No, verse two and uh, three a bit as well. So for Christians, when everything around them is a bit uncertain and messy and they're tempted to feel worried, they can remember that God is their rock. He is solid and stable and safe. A bit like building your house on a rock. Because you wouldn't want to build it on this mud, would you? Because that might end up in disaster. 
hey, that's a story in the Bible too, Debbie. The wise and foolish builders. It was a story that Jesus told to, well, remind everyone that when everything is a bit crazy or upside down or scary or worrying, that the best thing to do is to trust Jesus and to follow his teaching. Thanks, Johnny. And no interesting facts about uh, foundations? No? Good. Well, that's it for today. If you click on the link after this, it'll take you to a video of the Wise and Foolish Builders. I'll see you again soon. Thank you.